Let's check out the new quality of life updates for anime fighters. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for free bow bugs. Hey yo, what up? F minus game gang. Here we go again, y'all. Anime Fighters mini update today. Not a big update, but an amazing mini update. And we are here to break it down. We're here to give you guys the code. We're here to check everything out, everything that got buffed, so that you guys can take advantage of the updates. It's 43.5. Once again, there's no new map. It's still Steel Ball Run. But that's okay because look on the right side of the screen bro there is a big list of words here basically if you look at my mouse cursor they buffed the minor passive drops 0.3x what does that mean f minus that's like the first thing probably one of the most important things on the update if you guys look at my current minor passive right here you can see baby nezuko she currently has a minor passive this gives 0.3x drops 20 percent more than draconic passive I'm going to type my inventory draconic passive. So basically, if you guys want more drops in the game, pay to win, you could probably go 700x drops. Free to play, 300x drops, basically half of what pay to win is. Like I said, this is a mini quality of life update. You guys will be popping off. You will be able to take advantage of all of this. Plus, if you look at my mouse cursor right here, they buffed the passive token conversion machine to Requiem Machine. Basically, what that also means is instead of paying a thousand requiem tokens right here you remember this it costs a thousand to get five tokens now it only costs 200 tokens i'm gonna press it and you can see it right there it only takes 200 requiems now so if you're free to play you have to farm a thousand requiems no more you can only farm 200 you get one token one token is all it takes. You can transfer your secret passives and then you can transfer the like protagonists, your divines, your secrets. It's perfect. It's an amazing part of the quality of life update. 43.5. Another thing that they did is they raised the item caps. So if you guys are on the stream, you see my mouse cursor right there. And if you go back to the patch log over here, artifact cooldown has been reduced to 15 minutes. So basically there's no artifact cooldown and double artifact is now one hundred percent efficient bruh so now you can equip like what 15 fighters if you're paid to win maybe like i don't know seven or eight fighters if you're free to play plus you can get another artifact together it's gonna be amazing guys and also on top of that we do have the new code make sure you redeem it i haven't even redeemed it myself it's q o l changes if you guys redeem this code i think you guys will get a passive token yeah look at the bottom passive token and a time potion pretty damn good and also a dungeon reset come on guys use the drops event look at the bottom right of the screen we got 5x drops event take advantage of the drops event take advantage of the time event you guys can use that plus the time potion plus you guys use the dungeon reset oh my gosh but yeah that's current technique of what we're doing in the video and what you guys should do to get double artifact get a full team of draconic it doesn't need to be double draconic but you should get a full team of draconic or get a full team of miners you guys see my mewtwo right there dang level 500 2.7x but double minor remember they buff minor 20 percent more than draconic so double minor basically right now i could try to get 700x drops if i really really wanted to Obviously, I don't know if I could do it in this video because I only have one minor passive left. I'm gonna have to clone the Nezuko. But what I can do is show you guys the power of drops. You guys can see the artifact of hoarding though I have and the artifact of multitude. So we have two artifacts equipped. It's perfect. And if I join the time trial right now, hopefully there's nobody in here. <gasps> There's nobody in here. A hey, don't mind if F minus does. Like I said, guys, with the newest patch, minor passive. 20% more drops and on top of that if you do infinity tower you get the double artifact you can now do the quote multitude glitch it's not really a glitch anymore you can do it legitly 15 fighters equipped plus you have the drops artifact bro we're gonna be cashing out today so you see my drops right here i'm just gonna go ahead and quit my drops team swap some units out so we got like light speed we got luffy right there and i think i have double monster whitebeard i'm gonna replace that with a bunch of miners mewtwo Pucci, Michael Gopeki. This is my double drops team, I guess you could say. Double miners. Not everything has minor, but it's still decent. Now, I want you to focus on the bottom right of the screen. 
we have 444x drops guys 440x drops and we're still missing the one drops events from infinity tower we're still missing the 500 paid robux events that you guys can get in the event hub i can also equip my daiso avatar and transform into him and then i'm just gonna go ahead and turn on auto attack this is what you guys want to do if you don't have auto attack that's fine you guys can still get a bunch of world shards doing it this way just click on the enemies this right here what i'm showing you is how you get a bunch of world shards i guess you could say quote infinite now because if you have like 400 x drops 200 x drops 100 x drops you break one chest you see this chest right here once i break it look at the bottom of the screen 690 hunter hunter shards 1000 time trial guys before this new update because of the minor passives 20 percent more drops you might not even get that much but they did buff it guys that's what you should do we can even take a look at f minus's backpack damn look at the lightning shards hunter hunter goes crazy and if you wanted fragments in the game orange you guys wanted blue you wanted red yellow you would do this in infinity so here's another chest right here like i said this is like the drops update look at the very bottom of the screen 600 600 guys made in abyss shards the whistle shards right here go crazy that's what i'm talking about we got another chest as well and you know what's the best part about this this is ultimate time trial there's gonna be chests that spawn in just break them here's another chest guys on 400x drops it's not even 700x which i might try to get eventually i'm just showing you right now we get a chest every single like three rooms every four rooms this is pretty op this is what you guys want to do this is how they buffed anime fighters for the new mini buff update what i want to do though is continue to go through this entire ultimate time trial or at least most of it and we'll see how many shards we get i did this on stream already i almost got like a hundred thousand total shards if you combine the time trial plus you combine the world shards look at the very bottom of the screen again look at that oh my god 500 of the soul academy that is a lot to get a secret passive it only costs you guys like a thousand of those shards if you're free to play maybe two thousand if you guys are you know really really unlucky but overall i'm just trying to say like bro you are cashing out look at this seven thousand do you guys also want seven thousand time trial shards do ultimate time trial do greater time trial do medium time trial do easy time trial do whatever let's go look at this we got two chests hey yo 700 let's go break this nest chest how much are we gonna get guys oh my god look at the bottom of the screen 1.4k whistle shards 1.4k we got another chest right there there ain't no way 465 at the bottom so if you had 200 x drops whatever i have in my inventory just divide it by two if you go to the artifact machine over here artifact of hoarding artifact of multitude this second artifact slot you guys can unlock it in infinity tower all you got to do is go through the floors and pray that you get the drop for it it's a really rare drop but it's not that rare it's actually five times easier to get than the auto attack free, I guess you could say, game pass in Infinity Tower. That's what Caleb said. And once you guys get double artifact, it's at 100% efficiency. There is no nerf. It got buffed. So you guys can get artifact of hoarding, 2.5x drops, artifact of multitude. That's what you guys want for drops. If you guys want to get divine and seeker units, this is what you would do. Artifact of time. And then you guys would also get... I guess Artifact of Hoarding here. Let's change it to Artifact of Fortune. Look at that. Artifact of Fortune, Artifact of Time, 1.75x time. Artifact of Fortune, 7.5 luck. Come on now, guys. Come on now, guys. That's a little too easy. You equip the Rain Avatar, 1.5x time, 1.8x luck. Okay, let's go ahead and transform into it. Ayo! And like I said, you can get this as free to play. The drop rate is pretty low for the second artifact. In order to get it, just do Infinity Tower. Break the chest inside of there eventually you'll get it let's just use a super luck boost i'll use a couple of those do we have a super time boost oh we do we do have a super time boost ayo okay and then after that we just unequip our units and then look for uh light speed maybe so let me get some light speed or maybe some double golden lucky units actually golden lucky look at this oh <gasps> whoa f minus remember that video we did guys oh my goodness what about a full team of golden luck f minus oh we about to pull some divines right now y'all this is the power of that double luck artifact oh my god everything is double golden luck now look at the bottom right of the screen i literally have 47 
0.8 luck in the game with 16 time multiplier. Look at my mouse cursor, 16 time multiplier. And that's not even like the highest. I can still unequip some of the golden luck. 47 is really high. All right, check me out. We are in Steel Ball Run Island, y'all. Let's go ahead and start auto max opening. Cause like I said, this is part of the update. We're gonna try and see our luck. Let's see if we get anything good. I'm gonna use a shiny boost potion. And then let's just start max opening. Let's see what we get. Here's the first max open. We got a bunch of mythicals there, cool. Now, if we turn our auto max open, what else are we gonna get? And how fast is the cooldown? Oh, there's only a two second cooldown? What? Oh my gosh, guys. How long is it gonna take us to get the secret? This is part of the new mini update buff. Not only can you guys get better drops, you guys can now get better luck and time multipliers so that you guys can pull the seeker unit. We just pulled the seeker unit on the right side. I don't know if you guys saw it. Oh my gosh. I think we actually have two gyros in our inventory now. If I type it in here, yep. We have top G. We did this for a video, double crew leader. And this is the new shiny secret we just pulled. So if you guys want divines, you want secret units easier, take advantage of the update. Dude, this is actually crazy. What if I tried to pull another secret? And keep in mind, this is the last map of the game. It's obviously going to be way more tougher to pull the secret and the divine and last map of the game versus the first map. But the fact that we did it on screen in literally like 20, maybe 30 seconds is insane. 16 X time multiplier. 47 luck it's not even the highest but we do make it happen guys look at that we just pulled another secret right there bro this is too easy guys who wants their first secret in the game let's change it up a bit though let's go to the first island super island let's go see if we can get super boo so super boo in the game is the easiest secret to get i just want to get him to show you guys hey maybe we can oh we already got super boo <laughs> first max open maybe we'll get another one pretty soon damn in the next uh max open no we got some piccolos it's gonna be this open though Okay, we got some more piccolos. Double golden lucky, guys. And all you got to do is just keep cloning your passives. Transfer them to another unit. We got another super boo on the right side. We got another super boo on the right side. Look at that, guys. Every max open equals secret unit. Almost every max open. Maybe every other other max open. But this is pretty impressive. Especially since they are secret units still. For the flex, of course. I wanted to go in the time chamber. Let's go check out the passive transfer machine again. And let's see if we can try to convert some... Well, I can't convert Requiem. But we can try to, you know, transfer some of the passives we have onto other units. So once again, if you guys redeem that code, you'll get a free passive transfer token. And also, if you have the VIP Game Pass. I don't know if I talked about this earlier. This is also part of the update. This VIP Game Pass, you also get a free passive transfer token so it's pretty nice you can claim that in the conversion machine you see the bottom of the screen right there just tap this little thing it'll say claim ticket and it'll say hey we'll give you a free passive transfer token that's how i have six and then i got the other five earlier by converting some of my requiem here's the passive transfer machine though we can try to transfer you know a little something something around this is the passive they buffed minor passive okay cool plus it gives you a damage boost what if i wanted to transfer it with one of my draconic units that way we can make a better drops team. Select the minor passive, select your draw iconic passive, and then just transfer it over. And now we have a unit. This one's Skelly King, but it has minor and draconic. That's what you guys want to do. And then you can clone your minor passive. Dude, it's so freaking easy. We have two divine passives. I could transfer this now. And then with the free token, I could transfer that over to, let's say, a common unit. Boom, we just made the strongest uh, common unit with a divine passive for free because you got the tokens but yeah the conversions machine it's pretty op now the conversion rate you only have to do 200 at a time instead of 1000 a lot easier for free to play overall this mini update is pretty damn good especially the efficiency for that double artifact you guys can make some crazy teams multitude artifact plus damage artifact if you guys see my strongest fighter right now it's a yuri chara 24x double monster or the gojo with interstellar you guys do this plus the artifact of multitude double artifact you can get 15 fighters guess what now you can make the leaderboards and taking a look at it oh my god these leaderboards is crazy number one is at 9.220 dps i think that's one of the other admins though but if you scroll down and you really want to make the leaderboards it only takes you i think to like shoot 971 wdps if you want to make the leaderboards 
So it's going to be pretty tough, but you guys know how to make it now. Or if you want to get stronger in the game, you got to get double artifact. Just farm Infinity Tower. I promise you guys, eventually over time, you will be able to unlock it. But yeah, that's all we got for the video today, guys. Enjoy the mini update. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Really do appreciate your guys' support. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.